What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are back with another movie reaction and this time as you can see in the title we are reacting to The Cabin in the Woods. Now, I know what you're thinking. How has he not seen The Cabin in the Woods yet? It was pretty popular when it came out and a lot of people were talking about it. It just never, I never got around to seeing it, so I really don't know. But anyways, before we get into this video, guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. really helps me out. You guys have been awesome. Now, getting into this movie, Cabin in the Woods. All right. I've heard it's pretty meta, like it's pretty self-aware about its own horror movie cliches and horror movie tropes and stuff like that. Chris Hemsworth is, it, it plays in it. Obviously, everyone knows him as Thor. The director is Drew Goddard who's done, who's written for a lot of stuff actually. And mainly, my, one of my favorite movies he's written for was The Martian actually. So I really like that. I actually haven't read the book for The Martian. So if you guys have seen The Martian and read the book for The Martian, let me know in the comments, is the book worth reading? Cause I'll definitely check it out. Um, and then from what I know about the movie, it's about a group of friends who want to escape and get away and go into this cabin in the woods. And obviously when they get there, not everything is as it seems. So. There you go. Anyways, let's get into this. I'm really excited to dive into this movie and see what it's all about. Cabin in the Woods. Let's go. It's hormonal. I mean, I don't it's women's issues, but, but childproof towel, and gates and stuff. Oh, hey, it's this guy. He screwed in these little jobbies where he can't even open the drawers. At all? No, they open, you know, like an inch, then you get it. That's the guy that's in the, the dad in Step Brothers. That's right. Yeah. Are you even listening to me? Why is it doing this little jump scare? What was up with that? Oh, all right. What were they? Are they like work at some like tech company or something? Try to jump scare me right in the beginning? No way. Uh-uh. I'm standing strong. Oh, way oh. Is that Holden? Be right down. Yeah, he just transferred from state. Best hands on the team. He's a sweet guy. And he's good with his hands. Hey, uh... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, gee. <laughs> what is that? What is wrong with you, bro? Oh. <laughs> is that like a bong coffee cup? A giant bong in your father's van? Look at that thing retracts like a telescope. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Oh. Spies. All right, so what are these guys' deal? Okay, systems online. <clears throat> Acquiring targets. Let's see what we got. Oh. These guys are gonna be running a simulation or something? What's going on? They're up to no good. Hmm. I don't trust them. <laughs> is this horror movie cliche number I'm one? this thing doesn't take credit cards. Stopping at a rust bucket gas station. Knows about money. With a creepy, creepy attendant, the gas. gas attendant. Watch. I don't think there's gonna be any. Oh, oh, I knew it! I knew the jump scare was coming. God damn it! Well, good luck with your business, sir. I know the railroad's coming through here any day now. That's gonna be big. Just <laughs> He's pretty funny. Okay, bird. Oh! Oh, oh, and they're on the other side of it. Uh-oh. I mean, it's got the classic creepy cabin vibes. This reminds me of a cabin from like Phasmophobia. Have you guys ever played that game? Exploring the cabin, searching for ghosts. Yeah, these scientists running their little schemes, simulations. Places, everyone. We are live. It's gonna be like the the scary movie version of like the Truman Show or something. <laughs> yes, how we're slowing down cognition. I don't know. The hair dye. 
Dumb blonde. Very artistic. Works its way into the blood through the scalp. Kim department keeps their end up. I'll see it when I believe. What? What did they do to? What did they do to their hair? Like drug her with something? Hey, what is that? In the lake, right there. Oh come on. They mess with her. There, there. God looks just like my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> We're in danger. That's hilarious. Yeah, Chris Emsworth, I know the feel. We are endangered. Yeah, we rigged the game as much as we need to, but in the end, they don't transgress. They can't be punished. So what's it gonna be, Truman? You in? Windows closing. This dude's name's Truman. I'm fine. I don't know. I'm just gonna say. That's a bit of a coincidence, considering how similar to this is to the Truman Show. I'm just gonna say, I'm just throwing it out there. I dare you to make out with that moose over there. That's a wolf. That's clearly a wolf. I dare you to make out with that wolf. She's like, I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Put me in, coach. Just colored it in fact. <laughs> oh my god. There's no need to huff and puff. I'll let you come in. Whoa! Phrasing. Oh. Is she really into it? Damn, she really into this wolf. What big teeth you have. Thank you. What in the hell did I just watch? Okay, Jules. There. Whoa. It's the cellar door. The wind must have blown it open. <laughs> the uh, wind must have blown it sense. open. Oh I my, God. that's not how cellar doors work against gravity, my friend. That's just not how that works. Why don't we find out? <laughs> Oh man, that is so funny. It's it's like stupid on purpose. Well, that's uh, a bit unsettling. I don't like dolls and creepy old paintings, that's for sure. Oh my god. Look at all this. Oh no, dude, no way. Uh... No, no, no. What? I dare you all to go upstairs. Oh god, just these are just like the worst. All these things are just my worst nightmare. Creepy little ballerina box thing, it's gonna start twirling and doing music. No. Yep, there it goes. What? What? What is... What? The tension's building. I don't like this. Guys? Oh, gosh. Mama screamed most of the night. I prayed that she might find faith, but she only stopped when Papa cut her belly and stuffed the coals in. Yikes. And, then, and there's something in Latin. Okay. I'm drawing a line in the fucking sand here. Do not read the Latin. <laughs> yes, please. He's the smart one. She's gonna read the Latin. Dolor supplemus, Carl. Dolor igneo animus. Oh, yeah. Surprise, surprise. It's summon some dead people. Let the games begin, I guess. That's not fair. Please. I had zombies too. Yes, you did. Yes, you had zombies. But this is zombie redneck torture family, see? They're entirely... Zombie redneck torture family. Magic? Gods? You get used to it. Should you? The only one with a conscience in this lab. It's a pretty cool concept, though. I kind of like it so oh, far. Oh, man, I'm sorry. 
He had the conch in his hands. Know, you know, in a couple more minutes, who knows what might have happened. Oh. I understand what that buildup was for now. Because each one of them had something that could have summoned some sort of monster. That's interesting. <laughs> just her facial expression is like mine right now. Jules, do you want to go lie down? That's exactly the point. Mush, mush. Well, I mean, he's a sociology major. He's on full <laughs> academic scholarship, and now he's calling his friend an egghead? Chris just drunk. Oh, so this is out of character for them. All right. You're not seeing what you don't want to see. Yes, trust the stoner. What are you running away for? Oh, they went outside? I thought they went into a room. I was so confused. Well, that's just stupid. Not here. Oh, baby, come on. We're all alone. <laughs> We're all alone as everyone's watching. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm chilly. <laughs> the disappointment. Oh my god. You're, you're basic. You... <laughs> What's this button gonna do? They turn up the light? What in the... Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Classic horror movie trope. The couple who has sex first is the first to die. So what's gonna happen here? Oh! Oh! Yup. And the zombies. Oh! Oh no. I got, oh no. Oh, you're you're done. You're done. Oh, is that a trap? Like a bear trap? No. No. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, dude. No, don't, oh no. Oh, she, oh, damn. Oh, dude. <laughs> I thought this movie was funny, man. I thought it was gonna be funny, man. What are they doing now? What is happening? What are they, stole? Oh, is the big, what the heck? So, oh my, okay, all right. We are abandoned. Oh, what is that? Who is that? What is that? Who is that? Is that a zombie? Oh, Jesus. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. He's alive. Wow, he made it. We gotta get out of here. No. No, wait. Dana, don't open. I'm not leaving here without Jules. That dead girl's out there. <gasps> no, the big man. Oh, well, there's Jules in her head. There's Jules in her head. Yep. There you, there, there's Jules. You happy? Oh, ah! <laughs> well, she's not blonde anymore. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, but there's more. Grab some weapons. Grab some weapons. Grab some weapons. Oh, dude, these guys and their tricks, dude. This isn't right. This isn't right. We should split up. No! Oh, the, no! Orb around that way. 
<laughs> this yeah. is so funny. Yeah, good idea. Really? <laughs> really? It's like every dumb movie, like horror movie decision is being controlled. That's pretty funny. No, stay, get away from the window. Oh no. I want a reality TV show. Ding, 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 and you're dead. My parents are gonna think I'm such a burnout. <laughs> oh, brother. Grab the bong. He's got the bong. There you go. Yeah, just run. <sighs> the stoner dies next. Well. Oh! More blood to be sacrificed. Oh, uh, that's not creepy. Smart, smart, smart. Kurt? I mean, there's gotta be something. Oh! No, the bear trap. Oh. No, the good guy's gotta die. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. That's what. That's what happened. Is it in the face? In the face. Hit him in the face. Hit him in the face. Who said there was a glitch up that tongue should have blown hours ago? Yeah, but we didn't get the order. So the world depends on stupid people doing st or people doing stupid things in horror movie tropes to get themselves killed so they could feed this beast ancient interesting ancient beast beast ancient there it goes what are we going to do jump dude Oh! Curtis. This is a stupid idea. I'm bigger jumps than this. You got a smooth run, and maybe a five foot differential on the other side. But you gotta give it everything. There's zero chance he makes this. Zero. I'm giving him zero chance. If I wipe out, I'll fucking limp for help. But I'm coming back here. I'm coming back with cops and choppers and large. He's gonna hit the wall. He's gonna hit the wall. The hero, Thor, Odin's son. Boink, I knew it. Well, he's not getting you any help. Yeah, see? Marty had it right the whole time. Yes, thank you. Drive as far as we can into the forest and we go on foot from there. Okay, no matter what happens, we gotta stay calm. Oh, dude! What? How is there one in there the whole time? Well. You better hurry. God, dude. Oh, uh, th no, this is like nightmare fuel, dude. Getting stuck underwater, someone grabbing you and pulling you down. Nope. She gonna make it? She gonna make it? She gonna make it? Nice. 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 <laughs> nice jabate. Oh my god. Modelos. How can the ritual be complete? The virgin's death is optional as long as it's last. So strange. 
actually rooting for this girl. So she can make it out. You think of all the pain and the pun Tequila is my lady! My lady! Come on in, guys! Come <laughs> They actually don't care if she lives or dies. Oh! No! Is this gonna end just like this? No! No! What the heck? He's over there. Ask them. <clears throat> I don't need to. I already know the answer. I'm an intern. That's why I don't qualify for OT. It's funny that you like the ballet because she's just in the back or background, just getting wrecked. Your favorite. Hmm. Uh oh. What's going on? It's the red phone. The one no one ever calls on. That's impossible. Everything was done within the guidelines. The Virgin is the only one. No, I, I am not doubting you. She not a virgin? Which one? Or what happened? Someone survived? I can't believe she's still alive this whole time. Oh, is Marty still alive? Marty's still alive, isn't he? Marty! Yes! Marty in the bong of destiny! Let's go! <laughs> Run! Come on, Marty! Is this supposed to, that's supposed to be like Jason, Jason Voorhees coming out of the coming out of the lake. Oh, oh, okay. hey. Yeah, I uh, had to dismember that guy with the trowel. <laughs> His face. What have you been up to? <laughs> Trying not to die. Escape the simulation. You guys can do this. Come on. Um, this is awfully brave of you to walk out first. Oh! It's a werewolf. They're gonna find, oh, they're gonna find all the horror movie monsters, aren't they? They're gonna be like Frankenstein. Oh, please, please. Show me like Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger. Oh, these are all the monster monsters they could have summoned. They made us choose how we die. Don't, well, don't, don't. Why would you, what if you accidentally break the glass? The girl, if he outlives her, this whole thing goes to hell. Cleanup says the prep team missed one of the kids' stashes. Whatever he's been smoking has been immunizing him to all our shit. How does that help us? <laughs> Whatever he's been smoking. You shouldn't be here. This should have gone differently. You don't say. There's something bigger, something older than anything known. You've seen horrible things. What lies below? It's our task to placate the ancient ones. Hmm, okay. Oh, release all the monsters? Release all the monsters. Army of Nightmares, huh? Army of Nightmares. Release them all! Oh my god! Oh my god. This is wild, what? Let's get this party started. This is really not what I was expecting from this movie. <laughs> 
Like I was expecting something along these lines, but then they took it a step further. This is awesome. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Are they just gonna hide in there forever? Nope. That's a whole hot of hell no. Oh gee. Oh gee. Oh no. Oh my god. What is that movie? Is that like the strangers or something? All those people with masks like attack, te torment those people in the house? Is that those people the masks are supposed to be like? Sector 12 down, sector 8 down, sector 3 oh, down. Oh dude, that creepy ballerina bro, nope. Utility shaft. Something went, something scary! Huh? It's just like turning into a real horror movie now. Jeez. Oh. Dude. This went zero to a hundred real quick. Oh my god, it's supposed to be Pennywise or any other type of clown, I guess. <laughs> A unicorn? How, why is that scary? No, I like unicorns. What? Killer unicorns? That's supposed to be a, a horror movie monster? Oh, no, Truman. Not like this, buddy. Killer scarecrows. Oh, Truman. What? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, the merman! The merman! That's what- Oh! <laughs> That's why I get it. That's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Uh oh. Kill him. Well, now we don't get an explanation of what's going on. Oh, they're gonna find out. Okay, okay, okay. It's a party or five of them. Yep. What are they? Us. They're us. Us. Yep. It's like I wrote the script. This is part of a ritual. A ritual sacrifice. Yes, sir. They want to see us punished. Like punished the virgin. For, what? for being young? Oh! Oh! Sigourney Weaver? It's different in every culture. I thought that was her voice. As long as they accept our sacrifice, they remain below. But the other rituals have all failed. No. Oh no. We're talking about the agonizing death of every human soul on the planet. Including you. You can die with them. Save the world. Or you can die for them. Gosh, they're both so enticing. Mm -hmm. She gonna do it? I don't know. If Sigourney Weaver gave me that choice. She has a way with words that would just make me. Yeah, I, you know, what? I'll die for everyone. You know what? Fine. I'm sorry. <gasps> Is it gonna be alien? So am I. Oh no, it's a werewolf. 
Oh, the virgin. Dang it, Dana. I really liked you. I was hoping you would survive. Oh, she's still alive. Who is it? Who's the monster? Oh, it's the one-armed girl. Oh, it's the Gorny now. <laughs> now what? Did they all die? Yeah. I don't think Cardi even has a cousin. <laughs> So sorry, I almost shot you. Hey, no. <laughs> oh man. I totally get it. Yeah, one last doobie. Front row seats to the destruction of the world. Let's go. Oh, the gods are not pleased. What is... <laughs> oh, I thought we were actually going to see what they look like. Wow. Alright, you guys. That was The Cabin in the Woods. Wow. That, <laughs> that movie was crazy. It went... That took me to a place I didn't think it was going to go to. I see. I knew it was, it was going to be meta of some sort. Where... You know, they, they touch on like horror movie tropes and cliches and stuff. It was interesting that it was, for this, it was, everyone was puppeteering them and controlling them to do the things that they were doing. And so, like one of the ones where Kurt, Kurt goes into the room, Chris Hensworth character goes into the room, and he gets sprayed by this gas, he's like, oh no, I think we should all split up. Which is obviously a stupid decision, but it's like one that happens in every horror movie, where it's like they just make dumb decisions. So it makes it feel like, oh, all these horror movies I've watched previous where they make really dumb decisions, it's all like calculated and puppeteered. Oh man, that's really funny. That's pretty clever actually. I, I like that aspect a lot. <laughs> you have like this lab full of people who are like who are the puppeteers who are controlling everything. And then they're all, obviously they're all placing bets to make this more interesting and make things uh, more fun to watch. And they have, and they have these like, like sacrifices going on all over the place so like in in france and in in japan and you know uh in here like in in this, this movie so then they were they had to spill their blood to sacrifice to the gods to basically save humanity or else the gods are going to come out and rise and kill everybody <laughs> which is what we got at the end also i didn't know sigourney weaver was in this movie i like, I even Googled some of the, like, the actors before. She's not listed at all. Like, it was pretty fun. That was, that was great to see her in, in this movie. That was really, that was just fun to watch. That was really, really fun to watch. Um, yeah, and they touch on all the, all the classic horror movie tropes. You know, you got, uh, Jules is the, is the whore or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And then, um, which I guess, is that what they were talking about when she said it was in the blonde hair? They said they the, the dye of her hair is like it was some sort of drug or something because they were saying in the cabin, uh, I think it was it was Holden and uh, Dana were saying Dana was saying that uh, Kurt and Kurt and Jules weren't acting like they usually do. Oh no, Holden was saying that Kurt and Jules weren't acting like they normally do, and Dan Dana was like, oh, they're just drunk or whatever. So yeah, I'm I'm assuming that's what that the blonde dye that they were talking about was to make her like the whore and make her the first one to die the sacrificial lamb um yeah that's so that's interesting that they did all those horror movie tropes and then the basement scene where they were all touching relics and in books and journals and diaries and stuff and like you had this whole moment of tension and it just falls silent and then you just you find out it's because uh they were all trying to figure out the the tension was built up because they were trying to figure out all those bets were placed on what they were gonna summon, and that's what like the tension was built up for the people in the the scientists in the lab, not for the characters in the basement, which was hilarious. 
Um, so they end up summoning a bunch of zombies, and, they, and the zombies come up and kill them, and then, um, yeah, they all thought they all thought they won because they thought they killed everybody. The virgin, obviously, they said they can live or die; doesn't really matter. But they all had to be sacrificed. Unbeknownst to them, Marty, the hero who knew it all along, uh, survives. Survives, gets out of the simulation, and then, yep, and then releases releases all the monsters. I mean, that just reminds me, it's just, this movie is crazy because it reminds me of a lot of things. First of all, okay, it reminds me of Truman Show, obviously. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, go definitely go ahead and watch that, it's a good one. Um, but basically, Truman Show is about a guy who puts a, who puts a, a character, Jim Carrey's character, in this big old, basically, biome, bubble dome. And he lives, and he controls, like, everything that happens in his life, like, all these actors, and basically controls everything. So that was very reminiscent of that. I think that was pretty on the nose, especially they had a guy, the security guy's name was Truman, which, I'm sorry, that can't be a coincidence. That has to be on purpose. <laughs> that guy's name is Truman, and this whole thing feels like the Truman Show. But then also, I definitely got some, like, Half-Life vibes. Definitely some, because Half-Life, they, they, what, they open a portal to another dimension, and then all these aliens come through, and and start attacking the lab. I feel like that's kind of what was happening at the end. They have all the, except they don't open a portal obviously, but like they have all these monsters there and they release them on, on all these scientists and all these scientists are just getting murdered and stuff by these crazy monsters. I didn't think, I didn't think we were gonna get Dana or any of our main characters, it, like Marty and Dana in the lab and interacting with the, the scientists at all or any of those monsters. Like it got like, I thought they were. I thought it was all gonna be part of the cat. I thought they were all just gonna stay in the cabin. They'd figure it out and then maybe die, not survive, and then the movie would end that way. But no, they actually made it into the lab, into the into everything, released all these monsters. Like it just the the ending of that movie kind of just went went just went for it. Absolutely went for it. So, anyways, uh, yeah, that was a, that was a really fun movie. I'm glad I I'm, I'm glad I finally got around to watching it. That's all I have for you guys for ca the cabin in the woods. Let me know what you guys think of this movie down in the comments. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Um, but yeah, I mean that's all I got, and I will catch you guys on the next movie. I will see you guys later. Peace out.